All right, guys. Leon Edwards is supposed to fight Kamaru Usman in a trilogy fight. They both got a dub. They both have a win. Leon took the belt off of Kamaru in devastating fashion. They're, they were supposed to fight across the pond in a stadium, a football stadium. Well, looks like Kamaru Usman is going to need some more surgery on his hand. He's not going to be ready. A lot of talk has been, you know, going around about who is Leon going to fight. Leon's going to be ready before Kamaru, and he shouldn't have to wait. He's the damn champion. I agree. So who is Leon Edwards going to fight? Got the homie Dr. Matt here. Matt, it's not going to be Jorge Masvidal. It's too fucking late for the two-piece and the soda. Unless you unless you disagree, who is who's going to fight for the belt, and who do you want to fight for the belt? Let's hear it. Because uh, they might not be I the same person. Be, I want to say Hamzat, but what's up with Kobe Covington? I'd rather see him fight for the bill, honestly. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, dude. Like, if they brought in Kobe Covington, it would make sense. If they brought yeah. in Kobe Covington, it would make sense. Why? Because Kobe Covington, Kobe Covington's coming off a win. It might, it might have not came in that bar on that night, but he won the fight. He he yep. beat Jorge Masvidal. He won the fight. You know he's only he, to my knowledge the only guy he's lost to is Kamaru Usman. So it would make sense. I mean he's one of the few guys that have made weight and are also coming off a win that makes sense for a title fight. But damn, I ain't heard from Kobe Covington in a while. I mean, is he still out there? I'm sure he is. You know, I'm I'm just joking, but. But damn, this guy's from for being so brash and you know arrogant and out there. Like I haven't I haven't seen or heard from this guy in a while since the uh, you know the fisticuffs. You know what I mean at the steakhouse or wherever it took place. Anyways, that makes sense, Matt. So Colby Covington is the guy that should fight for the belt. But who do you want to fight for the belt? Is it the same guy? Yes, Hamza. Hamza Chimaev. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be a great fight. That would be a great fight. I wonder if I, after seeing Leon Edwards get after, you know, we, we see we saw 99 percent of that fight played out. And I and I count that, although I'm not talking about the time. I'm talking about the fight from the beginning when the fight started to when it ended, the moment it ended. Ninety nine percent of that fight. Kamara Usman dominated. Yeah, but. Leon Edwards turned the lights out. Fair play to him. So, with that being said, though, it would be interesting. Two things would interest me. All right. Aside from everything else, because there's tons of things that interest me. If Leon Edwards were to fight Hamza Chimaev, I would be wanting to know. Two, two questions of mine would be answered upon seeing that fight. Could Leon Edwards withstand the onslaught of a Hamza Chimaev? And could, and if he could withstand that, could Hamzat Chemaev's gas tank hold throughout the duration should it need to? That would be my question to that. And my, my preliminary thing is, is that no, no, Leon Edwards is not going to, if they, if they fought it, wouldn't, he wouldn't hold up because he was dominated and damn near ragdolled, even though he took Kamaru Usman down, which was very fucking impressive. I believe for the first time ever, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm yeah. just saying, but we saw how that fight went. Yeah. That was, he shined, he shined early, but yeah, I mean, I mean, both of them look like their gas tanks depleted, but I mean, it'd be interesting. That's all I'm seeing. But at the end of the day, like, I don't feel like as, as aggressive as Hamzat Shemaev comes out of the gate, Vitor Belfort style. I, I just think that, I don't know. I don't know if, if Leon could withstand that type of ferocity coming right at him out the gate. But let's hear it. What do you, what do you think, Dr. Matt? Even if he did the first five minutes, I mean, we saw Gilbert Burns. He could still do it for <laughs> 10 more, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he'd make it, dude. I, I just don't see him sleeping uh, arms at either. Well, either way, we're going to have to wait and see for – you know, to get our answers. But uh I don't think it's gonna be Hamzat. 
Who is who is Leon? Let's break it down. Who is Leon Edwards going to get in there with next? Because we don't think it's going to be Kamaru Usman. I don't think it's going to be Hamza Chimaev because he didn't make weight by an unprecedented amount, even though it wouldn't be unprecedented for them to put him in there anyways. But I don't think it's going to be him. I don't think it's going to be I don't think it's going to be Jorge Masvidal because the guy hasn't won a fight in I don't know how long. But more respect to him. Dr. Matt, I agree that it, I believe that it should be a guy like Colby Covington. A guy like Colby Covington. And that would answer a question, hey, you just got out of there with a, a wrestler who had your number for the most part. I mean, he does. He does have your number. Like you, you, you got him leaning into a kick. You, fair play to you, but he had your number. He dominated yep. you. So what do you do? You put him in there with another guy of that stature, whom is coming off of a fucking win, whom is a former interim champion, his damn self, and has been in there and fought for a belt on a couple occasions. That makes sense. Kamar or Kamaru's out. His hands hurt. So you put him in there. You put Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington, as as Dana White would say, done. You know that's what he said at the, at the press conference. Done. That's what you said. And <laughs> if you got something to add on that, Matt, you go right ahead. What about Baloo Muhammad or Stephen Thompson? Man, that's the thing though. Like, there's more. Like again, they, like Bilal's got a fan base. I like Bilal Muhammad a lot. I do, and he's on a tremendous win streak. Man, how did I forget about Bilal? <laughs> Man, I take, listen, I take back everything I just said. I take back everything I just said. Let me restate this, Dr. Matt. Dr. Matt, I'm going to say this for you and the rest of the people. Listen, the guy that you put Leon Edwards in there with, because Kamaru Usman's hand is injured, he's got to get surgery, is Bilal fucking Muhammad. Thank you, Dr. Matt, for reminding me. And why is it Bilal Muhammad? Uh, because these guys got, these guys not only have history. Yes, Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards have history. But Jorge ain't winning fights. Leon's the champion. So fuck their history. The history between Bilal Muhammad and Leon Edwards is these guys fight, fought and their streaks were on the line. Both impressive streaks. And whomever lost, their streak was done and over with. But look, neither one of them lost because, because Bilal Muhammad's eyes are so damn big. He's got the biggest <laughs> eyes in the sport and he got his eyes poked. I love Bilal Muhammad. This is not a slight to him. But his eyes got poked. The fight the fight ended in a no contest. They're both on a long unbeaten streak. That's what that's what's the fight you do. That's the fight you put together. And I know people want to say, well, that's not the sexy fight. That's not the sexy fight. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'd fuck. <laughs> What's up, Matt? What you got? I fuck it too. We run train on it. There you go. It's over with. Stamp it down. So strap a mattress to its back. It's over with. But <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that.